So many young people have doubts. Why do they have doubts? Allah's answer, a distance from the word of Allah. The further you get from the word of Allah, the more you start getting attacked. And the thing that, you know, if, you're, if your body gets attacked, if your arms get attacked, if your head gets attacked, if your legs get attacked, that's bad. But nothing is worse than when your heart gets attacked. And the Quran is a protection for what? The hearts. Now the Prophet ﷺ, just like Musa السلام, did he have the resources or no? He didn't have the physical resources. Only a handful of young Sahaba. And these Sahaba, rich or poor? Very poor. Basically zero status. And then some people of the higher clans, they come to the Prophet ﷺ. Some leader of Quraysh comes, some governor comes, some, you know, some tribe leader comes. And he says, I want to speak with you. I want a private meeting. We have to get a VIP room to get a private meeting with you. Because when he walks into the Prophet's company, Ali Sallallahu who's sitting there? A slave is sitting there. A young man with torn clothes is sitting there. You know, uh, poor people are sitting there. A foreigner is sitting there. Salman al-Farsi is sitting there. All these people are sitting there that he doesn't want to sit with. He's, uh, he's elite, elite status. So he says, I want to have a meeting with you, but not here. We need to go to some four-star place. Why don't you come to my place? Then we can talk. Or go somewhere, or at least tell these people to go away. Because these are lower class people, and I don't sit with lower class people. Now the Prophet ﷺ has to make a decision. He has an opportunity to talk to a leader. Yes or no? And if you, if you talk to a leader, it could help. Because if a leader becomes Muslim, then what happens? Other people will say we should follow too. So maybe he should give him some extra attention. But at the same time, if he's going to give him attention, he's going to have to ask Bilal to leave. He's going to have to ask Khabbab bin Arad to leave. Yes or no? So now he doesn't, he has to figure out what to do. Because both of them are da'wah. Both of them are da'wah. Staying with these people is da'wah and letting them go is also, I mean, he's going to do it for a good mission. It's, Islam is going to spread. Even nowadays people talk about, you know, when a celebrity becomes Muslim, like people watch videos of Muhammad Ali becoming Muslim back in the day or you know people still ask if Michael Jackson was a Muslim or not like how does that help you dude but anyway <laughs> but what it's still a thing right if some and people people you know what they ask when I travel is Obama really Muslim oh, they go. <laughs> you know we want people in some kind of popularity or status we want them to be what Muslim because we think if they become Muslim Everybody will become Muslim. It's a thing we have in our head. And you know what? There's some truth in that. There is some truth in that. Even Allah tells us if Abu Jahl became Muslim. If Abu Jahl became Muslim. in kana ala al-huda. Did you see if he committed to guidance? Oh, it would have been amazing. Because he had so much influence, yes? When you have influence and then you become Muslim, then you influence other people with Islam. So it makes sense. This next ayah is about this problem. It's about this problem. Right now, I already told you we have how many? We have a lot of resources or no resources? No resources. And if you get a politician or a billionaire on your side, then all of a sudden you also have what? Resources. And that can help the cause of Islam, yes or no? So then he says, Allah says, Wasbir nafsak ma'alladheena yad'oona rabbahum bil ghadati wal ashi yuridoona wajha. You hold yourself back with those who call on their Rabb night and day. Who calls on their Rabb night and day? The Sahaba, the Bilals, the Khababs. You hold yourself with them. You stay right here. You're not going anywhere. If they want to come, they come to you. You don't go to them. You know, when you go to someone, they are more important than you. Yes? But when they come to you, you are more important than them. This Quran is not something you have to beg someone to buy. This Quran is the highest thing ever. People have to come to it. It doesn't go to people. The messenger will not go and beg you. You have to go and come at the feet of the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is what Allah told his message. Now let me tell you something. You want to get politicians and you want to get rich people because rich people have connections. Yeah? and you can benefit from their connections. 
Let me tell you something about connections. In this ayah, Allah says, you will hold yourself with people who have the best connections. يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِي They're constantly connected to who? Allah Azza wa Jal. يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ The only one they want to make happy is Him. The only one whose face they seek is Him. They're not interested in putting a smile on some leader's face. Oh, he, I think he likes me. I think he might donate to the cause. I think he might write a big check. I'm not interested. I think he might become Muslim and then he'll help Islam. It doesn't matter. The only one we want to make happy is Allah Azza wa Jalla.